can you please talk about running and chasing? It's so complicated. Well, it's not really complicated at all. <laughs> I can talk to you about it in two sentences. Love doesn't run and love doesn't chase. It's not complicated. Everybody that's doing videos on YouTube trying to make it complicated is full of shit. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. You can't believe in one thing and believe in another. Either you believe in divine or you don't. Either you believe love or you don't. Love does not run. Love does not chase. Either you believe in divine or you don't. Either you believe love or you don't. Love does not run. Love does not chase, right? Insecurity runs. Fear runs. Insecurity chases. Fear chases, but love doesn't do it. So love isn't happening there. Love isn't occurring there. So you don't ever chase, first off. That's like trying to chase a dog. It's not going to work. You're going to run until you're tired. And then they're going to sit back about 10 yards away and laugh at you. And that's the dog, the person. I don't know what they'll do, but they will continue to run. So you, running is irrelevant. There's no such thing as running. So if you don't chase a runner. So that's, that's, that's why are you going to chase somebody? You can't make somebody love you. That's magic. That's like dark bullshit. That's not even real. That's trying to manifest something with your mind that you can't manifest somebody else's mind, right? If somebody's not on the same page and they don't see it like you do, you can't change it. They have to come to that agreement. It's an agreement. It's like signing a contract. Nobody's going to pick out a car for you and, and make you sign up to pay for it unless you like that car. <laughs> you have to be part of that agreement. So there is, no, there is no chasing. You don't chase anybody ever. If somebody doesn't want to be with you, let them go. Love them enough to let them go. I don't care who it is. If it's your twin flame, eh, quote, 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 unquote, it doesn't matter. You can't change their mind, right? You can't change their mind. I mean, if somebody came to me and they said, oh, my twin flame is Brad Pitt, I'm going to look and I'm going to be like, well, hmm, I don't think he sees it that way. I don't know that you're going to get a chance to present it to him. So why are you going to put yourself into a place of separation that's going to keep you into this, this irrational mindset? And not that that's what's going on with you, but I'm just saying in general, it's a very you have to be very centered. It's a place where you need to find a good centered point. You need to understand your truth, and that truth needs to be resonated in whatever that relationship is. If your truth isn't with the other person, you can't change it. So chasing doesn't work. There is no such thing as chasing other than the label to let you know that you're doing something wrong. Running, well, running is a whole different deal. Running, I run, occasionally I have, because I feel insecure, because I feel that I'm not worthy. Because maybe, or maybe it's just I don't like the person and I don't know how to tell them, right? So either way, you let them run because whatever that reason is, I can't change that in someone. That's not my responsibility to change it in someone. And on, honestly, I don't want to take it on any more than I can. I'm already dealing with enough if I'm looking at this situation from a perspective of me. So running and chasing is irrelevant. It's the terminology that I address because I believe that it needs to be addressed to tell you that love doesn't run and love doesn't chase. If they come back to you in a year and say, hey, I miss you, I love you, I was wrong, you can give them the safe space to entertain yay or nay, that's up to you by that time. If you've been doing your work, something else may have worked out and you might be like, you know what, I found my person and I, I don't know what I was even thinking. You were only a catalyst. It's it. A catalyst can be 
anything and everything and all things because everything is a catalyst, right? We're a chemical, we're a chemical uh, uh, reactions, right? You have to have a, a spark. So hopefully that answers your question on running and chasing. <laughs> Overrun. I love, be, I love being yourself. Yes. Love has no boundaries. Nope. I will meditate for the love in my life and the life and the life of all. Exactly. That's the only way. And remember, the more you love, the more love will love you. So the more you give, the more you grow. The more you live, the more you learn. The more you love, the more love comes back to you. And like I've said before, every door is an opportunity and every opportunity is an opportunity to love. So closed door or open door, you need to learn to love both. You don't have to like them, but you need to love them as the part of the experience and expression of learning as you're being told and taught your best self. Experience is your teacher and your emotional cortex and your choices are your guide. So I pick if I want to feel sad about something. I pick if I want to feel happy about something. It, oh, somebody was like, I thought somebody was here. Um, but women never chase a man. A man never... Yeah, but see, but you're confusing chasing as courting. Courtship isn't chasing. I'm not, if I'm courting a woman, I know that's like the Walton's term. This is like from like the 60s. This is what my book addresses, traditional methods and technology. If I'm courting a woman, I'm showing her my diligence. I'm showing her my interest out of, out of respect. I'm pacing it. I'm learning about her. Love shouldn't be about hopping a sack and it's been three minutes. I know you. I know your first name. Let's go. I don't know you. I'm giving my soul and self to you and I don't know you. So love is about learning about somebody and that's about pacing it. And as a man, I provide and pace. I provide, I pave the way, and I protect. That's what a man does. That's my diligence as a man. So I'm providing, protecting, and paving the way by pacing the relationship. I have to set the mark. And as a woman, you nurture, you, you have flexibility, you have the strength that I don't have, and the foresight to say, I have boundaries. They're a little flexible, but I'm not going to break my boundaries. And you're, you know that we work together towards this. So it's not, and a relationship isn't really about the man's chasing a woman. I think that we have to be careful with our words. And I'm not trying to be spanking you spiritually, but that's just how it works out. Let's see. That's irrational. Yes, it is. Let the man chase you. No, it's just let the man get to know you if you want. Let go, let love, exactly. Let love find you. We run. We ruin things when we overthink. Just speak your authentic truth, always. Thank you, Eve. Love is action, not only flowery words. Everything is action, Rose. <laughs> Everything is action, not just the love between a man and a woman. Everything is action. It's action or reaction. That's all, all there is. Even, because think of it like this, even doing nothing is doing something, right? Um, what is courting? Courting, courting, like wooing, like, hey, can you go out on a date on Thursday night? I was thinking maybe we go to a nice dinner. That kind of stuff, right? Or, you know, hi, I was thinking about maybe going to brunch on Saturday and then going to like uh, see a movie. That's courting. And then calling on the phone. I just was thinking about you. I wanted to get to know you. Hey, so what, what's your favorite color? Those kinds of things. I know people don't know what those are now. Um, no one needs to chase. Exactly. How can we maintain faith about finding our soulmate? I don't want to lose it, Ryan. Well, we're, think of it like this. You can't lose it. Right? How can you lose it? If you believe in a soulmate, you believe in a soul. If you believe in a soul, whether you want to call it a twin flame or divine partner, if you believe you are of divine inspiration, if you believe that this is ignited by the spark of something bigger, how can you lose it? Because our souls are all still sitting outside on that soul sofa watching all of this like a TV show. They're in the world, but not of the world. They've manifested matter so that we can go through these things for the group, for the good, for the whole on the other side. Remember, you're the wave and we're the water, right? So you can't lose it. If it's going to happen, it's already going to happen. 
It's how will it happen? And will you be ready for it to happen? And will it happen in the way that you're orchestrating it? Because we do have to work, right? God gave you a hand of seeds, but you have to plant them, nurture them, and take care of them. So the seeds are planted by soul contracts. Your soul contracts are in, inevitably seeds that bind us together. So we planted seeds. We're planting seeds now, but our soul planted seeds too, right? So there's behind the scenes seed planting that we did before we were cognizant of being here. So that's why you get the three, three, threes, the deja vu, the 11, 11s, the, the, the miraculous consistencies and, and, and all these congruencies that, that trigger. And you're like, whoa, shit, I just heard that. That's great. I just had confirmation. That's why when I do readings, I only deal with confirmation. I do I Ching, angel cards, ascended master cards, and astrology. I do a fourfold reading. And if I don't get the same thing across the board, I go back and do it again. Because if I don't have a way to validate, I'm not going to say anything because it may not have value. So you have to look at it like that. You can't mess up a soul situation because your soul seeded it, right? So you're going through the process. As long as you do your work, it will work out. That's what you know. Now, look at me. I'm in a situation. I'm doing my thing. Do I have any children? No, I don't. Would I have loved to have had some children? I, yes, I would have. I'm not going to beat myself up about it, but you know what? Maybe something happens down the road and I end up adopting a child. I don't know, but I'm not going to punish myself because I haven't done it yet because I know things are all possible and I'm not going to, I'm not going to focus on my lack. I'm not going to focus on what I didn't do. I'm not going to focus on what I don't have. I'm going to focus on what I feel, where I'm finding it and how I can move forward. I'm not going to focus on, that's why I said no new year's resolution here. Forget that, New Year's revolution, because I'm not going to focus on what I need to fix in the way of fixing it. I'm going to focus on what I can do moving forward that fixes it indirectly. I'm going to be active outside, connected with nature, eating beautiful, life-giving food, and then, I don't, and then I'm not fat. I don't have to say, I'm going to focus on losing 10 pounds. No, I don't have to do a New Year's resolution on losing 10 pounds. I just have to freaking change my life or the soul revolution of seeking nature and being outside and being active and, and appreciating the garden that I live in. This is the garden. This is heaven. If you, if, I get so excited. I get so amped up. Let me see if anybody asks any questions. The butterfly effect. Amen. So look at it like this. If I can't take care of this garden, why would I get another one? Why is God going to give me something I can't take care of? I have to learn. That's why I'm here. It, it, God opened up the door for me to learn, to live, to give. All the examples are there. All the beauty is there. We have a planet that gives us unlimited resources. We have a planet that has given us opportunity. We have a na nature has nurtured us. It has the ability to do anything we need. We make plastic out of like freaking <laughs> plants. I mean, we have magic. We live in a magical freaking garden right now. And if we can't take care of this, why am I going to get anything else? Why am I waiting for paradise when I'm already in paradise? Why am I looking towards heaven when I'm already in heaven? If I can't make this my heaven on earth, what am I going to do when I get to some other place that's something else? It's like, okay, so we get space travel. We go to another planet. What are we going to do? Plant a flag and start building a company and putting smoke into the air and destroying that planet too? No. We must learn to be stewards. We must learn to be good with what we've got. We have to learn the goodness inside. That's why the way of the warrior isn't about making war at all. The way of the warrior isn't about how big and bad and strong you are. Isn't about what you can do, who you can defend. The way of the warrior is just about doing the right thing. And the right thing starts with you, right? A balanced being. If you can balance your being and be your best self, everything else will come to you. It will. It will come to you and, and, and it will be in a, such a fashion you would have never been able to, man, to make that yourself. I mean, think of it like this. Could you have designed this sweater like from the bottom up, ground up? I couldn't. 
Could you design this body? And look, even like Sadhguru says, I can eat a piece of bread and it becomes this body. Who the hell can design that? I can't. So whoever can design that, I'm going to be on their team. I'm going to believe bigger than I see because I can't see the bread becoming my body, but I know it does. And I'm going to trust and have faith in that there's things that I can't see, but if I can see myself and other people, that's a hell of a good start. A hell of a good start. Like I said, planting a seed. Don't see the seed. It's tiny. See the tree. Don't see a hand. See it. apples and bread and, and broccoli has become a body. Don't see glasses. This was, a, this was a plant. This was some kind of plant that became glasses so I could see. It's a miracle. We live in a world of miracles, right? How can you go into darkness when everything is light? You see, evil doesn't exist because evil exists. Evil exists because good people decide that they don't want to be good. They have the same opportunity as everybody else, but they're, when they're deciding whether there should be good or bad, a lot of it is based on the fact that they didn't get loved. They don't know what love is. They're afraid that they don't have love or they're afraid they're going to lose the love. Or they're, Why do you think there's crimes of passion? It's all about love. And we've made love a commodity. Look, love has a day, February 14th. Love has a, has a little fat guy with an arrow that launches bows. I mean... A Cupid shoots an arrow into your heart? No. That's, that's, that, that's a, a mentality of war. No, there's love. You don't need an arrow in the heart. There's, there's love there all the time. It isn't, doesn't just exist on February 14th. You don't just send flowers on Valentine's Day. You send flowers because it's, they're there. And what better way? Don't send a flower. Take somebody two flowers and sit there in a garden and enjoy it. That's a lot better. You want to impress a girl? Don't send her a bouquet of flowers. Pick her little bottom up and take her to the place where the flowers are growing. I'll tell you, that'll do a whole lot more than sending an FTD florist guy with a delivery truck. If you want to do some work, that will work 100%. That's my tip for the day for anybody that wants to have a date. And then let's tell it like it is, right? I mean, come on. <laughs> See the beauty inside of you and the beauty will be around everywhere. If vision was the only validation, then most of life isn't real. This is correct. There's so many things. You know, like that, that, there's that old quote. If it wasn't for the darkness, we wouldn't see the stars. Do you know that dark energy, there's more dark energy in the universe than there is light energy? Because dark energy isn't bad. Dark energy is contrasting. It's... They're good and bad only exist in the flesh. On the other side of the soul, everything is seen the same. Everything you're, you're seeing everything just like it is. Truth and love. And if you believe that, then you have no worries. Just start showing love and love will show up for you. If you show love, love will show up for you. Right? So don't worry about it. We literally have the same brain. Yes, we do literally have the same brain. We all have the same brain, the same body. What do you think, even in the words of when the communion thing, right? This is my body. It's a piece of bread. Yes, it is. Literally, this bread becomes your body. This is my blood. Yes, it is. Alcohol goes to your blood so much faster than anything else. It literally is. We literally are one. Literally. Figuratively, technically, and spiritually. Now we just have to be one emotionally. If we allow the energy of emotion to put us in motion, we can raise the level of love and then there's no reason to wage war. Because in love, you don't feel like you lost something. You learned something. In love, you don't need to take something. You give something. In love, you don't lack something you are already possessing it the answer is within the true twin is within anybody that's experiencing twin flame i already told you about the separation stuff right 
It's not a place of separation. It's actually a place of salvation because you are able to see your true self. It's an opportunity to make your own bed. Because so many times, the one person we won't look at is the one we look at all the time. We'll look at the outside, but we won't look at the inside. And I am as guilty as the next person. I am no one. I am only just here to help you. I'm nobody special. I don't possess anything that you don't. I'm not walking on water. But if I do, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> no, I'm not going to. But we are here together. We're just sitting here asking questions. We're sitting here side by side. We're looking into the biggest, greatest, wonderful, most beautiful blue beyond of opportunity. And we're taking the seed and we're seeing the tree. That's the seed lesson for today. Planting soul seeds. Hello, Crystal. Oh, you mean passionate love. What? What? <laughs> Rose, what's, where are you going? Did that, where are you going? Rose, you're, what, did you get in a sports car just all of a sudden? What happened up there? <laughs> Little Rose is just like, <laughs> passionate love. <laughs> oh, you mean passionate love. <laughs> are you trying to make me blush? I'm already red. I don't have to blush. I'm Irish and my skin is skin cancerified. So I'm double red. Now Rose is getting me even more red. Yes, Rose. We're, passionate love is also. Wait till my book on Kama Sutra for the Soul comes out about showing that the true strength of intimacy isn't about body. It's about being. Like if men knew the way to a woman's heart, if men knew the way that it's not about the body. Come on. And mind over matter. This is matter. This is matter. This is matter. And everything else is matter. So if you want to get off that ED pill, the little blue pills, and you want to you be able to, to not fake it till you make it, <laughs> it's about mind over matter and bringing the body, the soul, and the mind together. Whoa. When you have a trinity, and, and that trinity is about loving, it's a new level of love. It is a new level of love. And that'll be Kama Sutra for the soul. When we hit that series, look out. I'm gonna have to like turn it down a little bit. Are, are you Irish? I am um, Irish and French. You know, actually I'm, I'm a descendant of Napoleon Bonaparte and then also a descendant of Edward III who was killed horribly. <laughs> my my great 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 uncle was the uh, Archbishop of England that uh, had to inadvertently approve the uh, Henry VIII's divorce, and then he ended up in the Tower of London for a year, tormented and tortured until he could escape to France, where the rest of the family was. So, I actually uh, my family owned um, what was it uh, the Worcestershire Castle, the Lord of Worcestershire. And then it was taken, and then we were left in the dust, poor as hell, because of the switch in royalty. <laughs> royalty is never going to go right, right? Power is not in the body. It's like power is only a figment of the imagination. <laughs> All right, everybody. So that was your seed planting lesson for today. And don't forget, my book will be out soon, and it is called Putting the Soul Back in Soulmates. And then if you need help, go to divinelove-academy.com. That's where I do all my goodness. And to let everybody know, um, not by choice, but by voice, I have um, been getting overwhelmed with a bunch of wonderful um, comments and emails through all the social media, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Um, if you have direct questions on YouTube videos, I will answer them there in YouTube. So make sure your question is able to be answered live there for all to see. And if you send me a direct message, I may inadvertently not get it because I get a lot and I try to answer when I can and I do have uh, some wonderful people that assist me, that help me to answer and to make sure nobody gets missed. Rose, no, Ryan, you're passionate. That is the joke, I think. No, I don't see, <laughs> I didn't see your comments. <laughs> so, just know that if I didn't say Happy New Year, Happy New Year. If I didn't send it out, it's not because of any other reason, because I was overwhelmed and tired and, and 
I mean, I've been dealing with skin cancer, so that's not an excuse. It's just the evidence. I was really down physically. I had to recharge um, and get ready for being able to give all this good stuff for all you guys. Um, and if you need help, you can contact me directly at the Divine Love Academy. Um, just also for the groups, um, remain unbiased from a place of love, always understanding that not everybody likes certain language. I try to, I got to watch my mouth too, but you know, it's tough. But um, just remember all of us that we are here as a community. This is your community. And I'm just trying to facilitate a place that's safe for you all to, to express yourself and to, to love and to share and to find support. And that's this entire process. So if anyone has any questions, you know, contact me through the direct Divine Love Academy. That's the fastest. And because um, sometimes it might get overlooked. I love everyone. It, it, remember, power in their speech. It, it, it's happening to me as I speak. Plant the seed and see the tree, right? Be careful how you whisper those words to yourself. Every word out of your mouth is a mantra. Remember. Peace, light, and love, and I will see everyone. Happy New Year. Happy 2018. The seed planting has begun.